Young Thug got very angry at the YSL snitch Trontavius Stevens, as Young Thug would watch Trontavius reveal what the term snitching means. Mr. Steve, what does snitching mean to you? It doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm aware of the term that you, yes, I'm aware. What is the meaning of the term? What's the definition? It doesn't mean anything to me, but I'm aware of the term. How are you aware of the term? I've heard the term. How do you understand the term to be used? I really don't fully understand the term. This, love, this might be a stopping point at this point in time, okay? As right after he answered that, he would then go on to reveal that YSL does all of their selling at a gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue. A gas station at 221 Cleveland Avenue is a location where YSL associates sell. Are your initials next to number 13? Yes. Did anyone force you to put your initial to them? No. As that not only made Young Thug get very angry, but also his lawyer. As now the prosecutors just have to get their surveillance footage at this gas station, and they will have enough evidence to lock up several YSL members. Young Thug's lawyers knew this, so they tried putting a stop to it, objecting every statement that Trontavious made. However, it just made the judge extremely angry. This is testified. Oh, I'm objecting at this point. Hey, 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 Mrs. T hey. Mr. Harvey, we're not going to have any of that. I'll sustain your objection, okay? We're not going to be belligerent to one another. You can rephrase. Yes, I, 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 just, just please sit down, okay? I don't need any help from you, okay? All right, and there's no objection on the, on the floor, so... I have my objection, Your Honor, to, to that last series is that the court, I would ask the court to allow the witness. Please finish the statement. There's nothing else. It's, it's, if, if he asks to continue his statement, then fine. But sit down and stop interrupting, Mr. Matthews. Mr. Stevens, are you finished with your last response, or did you finish? Was there anything else you were going to say? However, this wouldn't be the only snitching evidence that made Young Thug angry, as Trontavia Stevens would then be asked about LeBron James, as there is footage of LeBron doing a slime handshake with a teammate of his, to which the lawyers would want to know, is LeBron James slime? Have you seen, um, we talked about LeBron James, have you seen him uh, promote and advertise uh, going around to his teammates and doing the wiping of the nose and saying slime. Have you seen that? Yeah, I sustain the objection. Have you seen LeBron James do a video, put out a video, wiping nose, saying slime to his teammates? I seen LeBron James. He got a different handshake for each player. Yeah. Yeah. So describe to non-response. As, yeah, I'll stand the objection. Describe what you remember seeing LeBron James doing when you say he has a different handshake for you. An objection to relevance. It'll be relevant LeBron in a minute. James. What do you remember LeBron James doing with each individual teammate that you described? And tell the jerk. He do a lot of stuff. He do a lot of stuff. Did one of them include wiping nose saying slime? If you remember, if you don't remember, it's okay, Mr. Stevens. I mean, LeBron may have did it. As the handshake they're referring to is this one right before a Lakers game. Slime! As sources claim Trontavius was either really caught off guard about being asked about LeBron James in this type of a court setting, or he's surprised of the evidence these lawyers are finding out about YSL and how deep the team really is. However, Young Thug has been giving concerning reactions to what Trontavius has been revealing while on the stand, as Young Thug's lawyers really aggravated Trontavius Stevens, so he has been just revealing all of the evidence that the prosecutors want. As Young Thug's lawyers started by getting him angry by exposing that Trontavius Trontavious and Young Thug were never actually friends once Young Thug started making music. He separated from Cleveland Avenue because he was working, right? I don't know what the reason was, but yeah, he went there. And he was working at the same craft. 
that he does today. He's a performer, right? Yeah. And you weren't with him, right? Yeah. He didn't put you on the lease, right? No. He didn't take you with him, right? Right. He didn't pay for you to get out of Cleveland Avenue, right? Right. In fact, he didn't do that for anybody there that you grew up with, right? I know about me. As this is where Young Thug's lawyer would begin to make Trontavious angry on the stand, while also making him emotional as he's basically embarrassing Trontavious in front of everyone for wanting fast money instead of working a real job. And he offered you jobs like you can carry bags for the group when they tour, right? Yeah. Tell the jury. Yeah. And he gave you opportunities to try, I'm not saying it's for everybody, but try to perform rap music in the studio, right? Yes. It, it was an opportunity for me, man. But you wanted the instant money like a theft, right? Yeah. I wouldn't try and do none of this stuff, man. I can't either. I said I wouldn't try and do none of this stuff. I don't know what you need. Just explain your answer better. Yeah. I, yes, I, I want instant money. Yeah. And what Jeffrey was offering you is not, he wasn't just going to give you money, but he gave you opportunities to change your life, right? <laughs> Most definitely was an opportunity. I couldn't yes, hear Yes, it was an opportunity. As this really seemed to make Trontavious very angry, he just got embarrassed in front of 50,000 live viewers on the live stream for basically not being a real man and working a real job and instead wanting to break crimes for fast money. He has also been very hesitant to give information on YSL thus far. However, right after he was embarrassed by Thug's lawyer, a report would be shared. Slug was asked to name members of YSL in the courtroom, to which he list them off one by one with ease. Which of these defendants in this courtroom right now are members of YSL Young Slime Life? Oh. And by all of them, would you please call them my name? As this was the perfect question for the prosecutors to ask Trontavious in this moment. They knew Trontavious was angry and that he didn't care anymore. As you may remember last week, when he was asked that exact same question, he was very hesitant to do so. But now with Thug's lawyer embarrassing him, he just doesn't care. I mean, are you gonna like tell him to stop or like, is there a certain amount of people who name anything? Can you please just name something? Just some of them? Names of people, all the ones you remember, who were members of Rock. Everyone, Mr. Stevens, would you please name the members of Rock who were members by you? Or I probably. And if that's not enough evidence to prove to you that Trontavius now no longer cares about trying to keep Young Thug out of prison, when Trontavius was listing off all of the names of YSL members in the courtroom, the prosecutor mentioned to Trontavius, so you do call Jeffrey Young Thug. Why she asked him that was because last week, it was mentioned in a report, what do you call Mr. Williams, aka Jeffrey Williams? To which he replied, I call him my brother. As Trontavius believes that the name Young Thug is only meant for the fans to call him. He just calls young thug his brother jeffrey williams is that what you call mr williams jeffrey williams that's his name i understand what do you call <clears throat> it's got, um my brother mm -hmm. what do you call him 
What else? Bruh. What else? Old world. I don't know. I don't feel like I, I call him Young Thug. That's for like people don't know him. I call him bro, or my brother. That's how I refer to him, bro, or my brother. Ever call him Sly? I call him bro, or my brother. As Young Thug's lawyer made a huge mistake, making Trontavious angry. He didn't want Young Thug going to prison at all. However, now, Trontavious doesn't care after he was embarrassed. As with the case getting into a really serious moment during trial, a report would be released of someone hacked Young Thug's trial courtroom Zoom feed and yelled, Free Young Thug, mistrial. Free Thug, mistrial. Free Thug, mistrial. <laughs> Hi, um, Mr. Stevens, you can take it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and take our comfort break at this point in time. We'll be back in 10 minutes. We're in recess. Free book! Michelle! Free book! Michelle! With Trontavious now giving all of the information the prosecutors want, Lil Baby is getting extremely nervous for Young Thug, as Lil Baby has now started to get into the mix against Gunna. Lil Baby believes that Young Thug is only in this mess because of Gunna snitching. As right in Lil Baby's new song 350, he states the lyrics, Ain't never said 